Hello guys, and welcome to episode 6 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as the Sisters of Twilight, leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Previously, we unfortunately lost Talson, which includes Orion, the legendary lord. But, I figured out a way to get him back. I installed a mod, which I'll leave linked in the description because it's really, really perfect. It's exactly what I needed. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go through this episode today. I'm going to let the mod activate. It will allow us to get Orion back. And then I'm going to uninstall the mod afterwards. And then we'll carry on as if nothing happened. Because I figured that this campaign is going to be really, really long. It'd be kind of a shame if we didn't get to utilize all of the legendary lords throughout it, uh, especially in a world domination. So that's what we're going to do. Let's carry on with our turn, though. We have the Sisters of Twilight here, and today is the day that we're going to be destroying the Exiles of the Hex. So many of you have been asking me not to kill them because they can be good allies, apparently, or at least a good buffer against other nations. But at the end of the day, any dead faction's a good dead faction because it doesn't matter. In a world domination, you're going to kill them all eventually. So whoever your neighbor is doesn't matter. And honestly, the Exiles and the Heck will most likely declare war on me eventually anyway, even if I didn't declare war on them. So there we go. Let's jump on in. Here we are, ready to send the bones back to the dust. And this is quite a cool settlement. Look at that. Big old statues and a giant scorpion. Imagine if they could animate that. <laughs> You'd be so screwed. I reckon in the lore they probably could as well. Anyway. We need to choose a place to deploy, and I think we're just going to go near this gate, honestly. We'll just make lines of Glade Guard, and we'll push up to the gate and go from there. Let's keep her further forwards. We've got all of our lovely Hawk Riders and the Sisters of Twilight. Great. Let's just move these forwards enough that we can shoot the walls. We'll get our ammunition spent. I think that's probably going to be the fastest way to do it. Just force the engagement with their ranged forces on the walls. Although they've only got melee forces on the walls, so I guess we'll just kill them instead. They don't have high walls, so we'll be able to kill them pretty quick. Let's go ahead and put her, them over to Talon of Dusk. Get this underway. They are pulling off the walls, which is to be expected if they are under fire. I'm going to climb up, I think, with my Eternal Guard. Maybe not the best idea, but we're going to do it. Those Hawk Riders just completely whiffed their shots. Right, let's go and blast. Let's see. I want the Skeleton Archer units to die. Go the volleys. I might send one of the skeleton warrior because it's pretty close to another unit. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Looks awesome though. Okay, great. <laughs> I think I'll focus down Kartep, honestly. Let's go Talon of Dawn and we'll just focus him down. Oh, 
I can also use the eagle cover actually. Forgot about that. Uh, my eagles are taking damage from the skeleton archers. So we'll move away. I'm going to move these closer. Why did they change target? <laughs> Keep killing Kartep. Oh, they do so much damage. What's their missile strength at? 556. It also has Sundering Armor. I feel like these are wasting their ammo. I'm going to stop them firing. My eternal guard are taking damage though. A lot of damage. Oh, they've also activated the towers. <laughs> Let's get out the way of those. Oh, is Kartep dead yet? Now he is. Goodbye. So if I could get up on the wall here, that'd be great. We also probably want to move out of line of sight of that tower. See if we can get some shots up there. That would actually hit pretty well. He says, <laughs> as it completely whiffs. For the Let's just do a breath attack. There we go. That's more like it. Right, let's have these fire again. My eternal guard are actually fighting pretty well. I've almost taken out the gate as well. My bow Cavalry. Swift. Okay, time to spread out some more volleys, I think. gonna demolish all of these. <laughs> it's just ridiculous how much damage that does. Target the skeleton spin with the breath attack since all of those are moving through. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Yes! <laughs> Perfect. Okay, the Ashabti actually spawned here. I didn't even notice. Oops. Let's go and climb the walls. Doing so much damage. I thought we'd only hit two Rama Souls tiers, so that's why I wasn't aware of the of Shabti. We've already hit the third one. And we're taking out the Nehekara warriors there, that's good. I mean them shooting ones that are below them is is fine because it, they actually do hit pretty well. Oh, just knocked loads of my own guys off the wall. Great stuff. Let's not do that, please. So I'm climbing the walls now so that I can just line up and start shooting. I 
That is the basic plan. Load of my eagles have used up their ammunition, so we'll just have them back up. And this is going to start doing a lot of damage. Eagle Quiver, the leader. Get rid of the Tomb King. Is he on a horse? He is. Going to keep shooting him. And we're getting as much damage as we can. Out of our forces anyway, so that's good. They have the perfect vantage on the hill. On the wall, I guess it is. Let's uh, just keep shooting this guy. At least he got to half health, nowhere near my units, so we didn't take any of the, uh, the curse damage. There can't be that many forces left, though. Surely. I can take out chariots with my eagles. So that's okay. We're actually getting relatively low though. On ammo. Which is crazy. Well, that unit's dead. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna just like... Maybe land into this unit. We also have magic, of course, which we can use. But only 20 wins of magic, actually. Okay, let's grab my eagles. Riders ready. Ride. And we'll go and take out the skeleton arch charts. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what to do here because <laughs> it's like we've completely run out of ammo, so I'm going to have to use my glade guard in melee, which is going to be weird. They are still relatively okay in melee. But let's just get the eagles in here. And get over the top of them. Dive on down. And take them out. And goodbye, one of them. That's one unit taken care of. We just have some eagles stuck. Let's go smash these skeleton warriors. It's funny because they should just disintegrate <laughs> really fast. Now we'll go get the skeleton archers. Actually, let's just go ahead and get the skeleton arch chariot here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Swarm them in there. And that's it. That's victory. Okay, good. Thankfully, we didn't have to do too much more.
because we definitely got through all of our ammo quicker than I expected. With Kartep gone, it's probably time to wipe out the Skaven in the area. I'm just going to raise this, I think, for the money. And the Exiles of the Heck are dead. Good. We also need to defeat Greenskins for the Confederation. Which one did I need to... Oh, was that the one... Ah, uh, okay, never mind. No, we don't. That was the one we already confederated. Okay. Well, we'll definitely head down to Ice Rock Gorge. I'll go when I'm ready. We could actually just have Tree Singer or Theodai jump over there. No, and he you. should be able to defend. Especially if we level him up. Get Life Bloom. Get the Life Blood upgrade as well. I could really do with getting some Treekin now. That would be cool. But we'd need to get a Haunted Grove and upgrade that. I guess technically... We could, because we have a ton of cash. I can upgrade a lot of these. If I say that, that's going to cost us growth, isn't it? So which one would be more beneficial? That goes from 300 to 400, but we get more goods. This one goes from 600 to 700. This one goes from 300 to 400, but we get more growth. It's probably more useful, so I think we'll do the game lodge first. Yeah, the other one we'll put into Earth Blood. Okay, and from here, yeah, we can like jump over like so and get caught. Well, this isn't necessarily that bad. <laughs> Let's jump on in. Arthiodai here, he's going to be tanking the brunt of this attack. And then we're going to have to make sure that we use the Glade Guard to kill all of their better units. Because most of it's Skaven Slayers, so... I can also use the Molly of Kernis ability, so that's good. Just start the battle. We've got to take out the warp fire throwers, that's the main thing. The rest are just mostly Skaven slaves, which don't matter. There's also the wolf rats with poison, which are a bit annoying, but we should be able to take them out if they YOLO them. I don't want him to get too far ahead, so we'll wander on back. I might actually... Ah, oh, never mind, we'll just shoot them, it's fine. I was going to say we could use a volley of Kernos on them, but that doesn't matter. I also need to try and take out this Warlord. I don't know if shooting him... I guess it's probably worth it, actually. We'll do, like, Lamentation of Despair. That's not good. Let's see if we can put a Lamentation on him. Okay, that's fine. Now we can probably do a Lamentation, although we are going to get caught in melee with the Skaven Slaves. Alright, Glade Guard, focus down the Warp Fire Throwers because they're going to burn the tree down. Speed. 
I've got to make sure they don't engage my guys there. Okay, let's just throw in an ability here. And we'll throw in an ability here. Do loads of damage to all those units. We're doing lots of damage to the warp fire throwers, so that's good. I'm going to drop an earth blood over here, because that will heal up this glade guard. And we'll drop a fireball into the face of that fella. Good. Okay, let's shoot the warp fire throwers. And this will be over soon. Oh, Theodai is just too much a jad to lose this battle. Right, these need to be put on guard. <laughs> For the eternal realm. Steady. Come on, Glade Guard, you know better than that. Uh, these are definitely in a weird spot. Let's just target individual random units and make sure that they keep running away. And we can do something like this just to kill off the warp fire throwers. And I guess we'll hit the scope saves there as well. Good. That's it. That's victory. Let's run them down. Let's go get them. I'm trying to lamentation the guy first. Actually, I think he's out of range. He's a fireball. The nice thing about the Hawk Riders in this situation is they also shoot their targets as they chase them. Can we get a fireball to finish that guy off? I think it hit the tree. <laughs> okay, we'll end it there with a close victory. Nice. Absolutely melted the warp fire throwers. It worked out very nicely. Gonna take the extra cash. And I think that destroys that army. Nice. So what we'll want to do now is probably just jump in the settlement. Can he move again? Since he got intercepted. Huh. Interesting. I would like to be able to recruit with him, but we'll have to do it next turn. He has Endurance of the Oak. Uh, we could go for the Deadly Onslaught. Or we could get the Earthblood upgrade. Let's get the Earthblood upgrade for now. We also need to upgrade the Sisters of Twilight. The Prey of Anathrema seems okay. I think we'll do Queen's Emissaries though for the extra diplomatic relations now and the growth in the local province. It's not going to be too useful. Actually, hmm. Seems like a wasted point. Because in the short term, yeah, it'd be nice for the like, Confederation, but long term, it's just going to be a waste. Extra speed could be good. Let's take the speed, why not? I'm going to put one into the Prey of Anathrema. Just grab that ability. 
Now she's on an eagle, we'll take the ward of Loic. And we already have Flock of Doom maxed out. So what next? Let's go for the upgrade on Pan's Impenetrable Pelt. Show me a Alright, this fella. Is he gonna get replaced by the other guy, Findol? Yeah, we've got one turn left on that. Proud son of so okay. Do we want to construct outposts? No, we don't. But we do have upgrades available. We'll definitely go ahead and upgrade the crack cores of Findol. Great. So relations are going down. Oh, that's because of the confederation penalty. That's why. Anyone else liking us? I think we're going to end up having quite a few alliances in this campaign. It's going to be pretty fun. We do have the Forge of Death upgrade available. I should probably save though until we can get a third one. Or I could get myself a new item. Don't know if anyone particularly needs it though. What does Tracinger need? Like he's got pretty much full items. Only an arcane item, but I don't think we can make an arcane item. No. I'm just gonna wait and we're gonna upgrade the items to max level. Great. Let's move on to the next turn. So one thing I do want to start focusing on is maybe getting these confederations in early. So that we can then get the witchwood or like the rituals done. And then we can expand from there. That's something again you guys have been talking about in the comments. I do appreciate all your feedback, by the way, and I do read pretty much all the comments when I can. So, that is an interesting strategy. It's very different to normal. It would like us to join the war against the Broken Axe for 200. Oh, thank you. Findor's ready for duty. And the Ritual of Rebirth is done. We've successfully completed the Ritual of Rebirth, healing the world roots beneath the Witchwood and granting the forest its glory and sentience once more. The reinvigoration of the world roots in this region means that should the unpredictable Skaven emerge from their underground lairs here again, they shall risk the wrath of the Asre and the powerful spirits now returned to dwell amongst the glades, boughs and branches. Okay. So we have... 5,000 from that. We get abundant growth, which is plus 10 growth in all provinces, plus 5 control in all provinces, extra leadership for dryads, streaking, and treemen. We get cooldown reduction for deep roots teleportation, and plus 1 amber. And the queen emerges. Your recent efforts in healing the glades of the world have aroused Ariel from the Oak of Ages. She has emerged to lend her strength to your great cause. There we go. We also got the Amber, which I believe we can use in our technology. So we can choose one of these. The extra casualty replenishment rate when in foreign territory seems really good. Extra ammunition in all armies plus 35% and extra diplomatic relations with all factions. Passive ability, you berry infusion for dryads, treekin, and treemen. Which gives poison. And then growth, recruitment duration. That could be nice. Particularly for a lot of the units that I want to get. They're all like two turns, it's really annoying. Wisdom of the Oak could be useful later on. Wisdom of the Ancients, Flock of Doom spell. 
for all ancient treeman lords. Oh, that's cool. And then extra additional forest health for raising heathlands. Well, this could be useful early on. Okay. Like, this could be really useful. Like, this won't be that useful later on. It could be useful early on. There's so many nice bonuses here. This one seems really nice. Wisdom of the Poplar, because the recruitment for, for the uh, Hawk Riders is two turns. And a lot of the stuff that I'll be upgrading to unlock will also be two turns. Oh yeah, we can also upgrade this from the Sacred Grounds of Anathrema to the Temple of Anathrema, which is going to give us the immunity to mountain and snow attrition. And extra missile strength in all armies plus 10%. Very nice. Definitely upgrade that. Fantastic. We got more growth again. So I think I'm just going to max this out. So that we don't have to worry about leaving an army to defend the Witchwood. Now Theodai can recruit here. Actually, let's move him to the edge of the province. I think what I will do with the Sister Twilight is we'll use the Deep Brutes because we have cooldown. And let's have Delina go with Othiodai. And we'll have Ariel join the Sister Twilight. But what I'm probably going to do eventually is when we get Orion back, we'll put Ariel into Orion's army. Because I think that makes most sense. So Rainer's Spines could be useful. I think we're just going to go Tempered Rigor. Get him upgraded a little bit. And on the edge of the province, he's going to recruit some more of those. Lovely. Right, anything I need to do here. So we can do non-aggression packs. With Katakin is probably a good idea. Give me some money. What about trade agreements? None of that. Okay. Let's replace him. With Findol. Because Findol, he's not necessarily a legendary character. But, hey. He kind of is. <laughs> kind of is. He's only level 2. Right. Uh, we're not going to move him. We're not upgrading outposts. Anything else to do. We don't have anything else we can spend our money on. We get our extra campaign map movement range next turn, though. That's nice. Let's move on. So what I'm going to do is we'll attack. Ah, they're attacking us. We'll bring in our allies. We're going to attack the Skaven settlement that's near Othiodai. And if there's another army inside, I might have to pull back the sisters just to help out. But my plan is to basically get Othiodai his own army so he can defend the Witchwood whilst we have the sisters go and confederate and deal with the rituals elsewhere. So Argolon's building an outpost, that's good. We've got our technology complete. Nothing personal. Eliminate a lord belonging to the Following enemies of Laurel on the Fecundites. Oh, isn't that uh, Festus? Huh. Okay. For fresh 
Well, let's do this. Great. We will continue siege. We'll have her join. There is an army over there as well. Oh, they're probably going to try and uh, colonize Clarex Spire. That's okay. We're going to put them in the Witchwood. When do we fight? Only when necessary. And now I believe I select this. I zoom out, and then I can click the Deepwood teleport button, right? So going over to Laurelon could be a good idea to get them because it's not that hard. I just got to take out a Norskan faction. Well, technically I only need to win but one battle, but I would like to wipe out the entire faction if I declare war on them. So it could get ugly. <laughs> the other one would be Orion's camp. That could be pretty simple depending where their army is because I've only got to beat them in battle and then we can federate them. And this could be an interesting place. It's just the decisions, really. I think I'm more familiar with this area, so we're going to go up here. It will bring harmony. And we'll have to find ourselves Let a Norskan tribe. Let there be battle. Like, Laurel and don't like us, and now we've trespassed as well. <laughs> That's okay. Right. Calm. Let's head north, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and we'll probably piss off Nordland in the process. Haste is required. So lots of faction trespassing. Nice. Where do I want to go next? I might save my amber because I don't really need to recruit all that much just yet. I really do like the Wisdom of the Willow. I'm gonna take Wisdom of the Poplar. Harmony prevailed. Right, we've got the siege underway. Let's just get that done. This shouldn't take long. I'll start the deployment. And we could just ram through this gate, actually. That's not too bad. There's only one tower up here. Oh, these can all start forwards as well. Perfect. I'm going to fly over to the right hand side with my eagles so I can fire the Volucanus to the left through the clan rats up here. How much magic do we have? 26 in reserve. As you say. Okay, we'll wait until they start bunching up and we'll drop Flock of Dooms on them. For our lady. So this is why I wanted to do it here because it kind of goes across the formation. That didn't hit as much as I wanted it to, though. It's going to be down in a second. In we go. The Treeman and his Dryads. And they'll all clump up. We'll use the other volley of Kernos. Do you want to use the Fireball? I'm just a bit 
concerned about it killing some of my dryads. That didn't seem too bad. Alright, let's get the flock of dooms down. And we'll do the volleys of Kyrnos. Lovely. And with that happening, let's get on the walls. Get another volley of Kurnos over here. That was a little bit close for comfort, honestly. Being hit by something. Ah, it's the tower. It's a piercing tower. We'll go and take that out. Get into position on the walls, start doing loads of damage. That's what we want to do. I'm not sure if technically his Awakening of the Wood would do more damage. Like they are quite concentrated at the moment, so maybe that's the play. Seems to do way more. All of these units are running. I can just stand here and wait for them to come back, honestly. Because they will. And that way we can just get all of my range forces inside and just shoot them on the bridge. Be over in no time. Oh, she's got to go. Get out of there. <laughs> that was close. I'm going to do an overcast earth blood just to get healed up. I'm just going to keep shooting any units that get close. Or they're just not going to come close. I mean that works too I guess. Interesting. AI being somewhat smart. Ready to fire. With haste. Onward. I need to stop letting her charge in. Okay, that'll do. End the battle there. That was pretty simple. Good decisive victory. And 
I am tempted to make that a seedling because I don't want them to... Like, I just don't want them to resettle it afterwards. Like, I should probably settle this one after I take it off them as well. Like, it doesn't matter if we lose them in the future, but it's just annoying. We'll get the sacrificial grounds so we get some extra money from armies in adjacent regions. And this turn, I guess we'll probably want to recruit even more Glade Guard. Eventually, I do want to make him specialized in Treeman, but yeah. Anyway, unfortunately, guys, it's been my time, and we haven't had the mod thing pop up yet, so I will probably be doing that in the next episode. And then after that episode, I will uninstall the mod again. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get Orion back one way or another. It's been a pretty successful episode, though. Uh, we've more or less secured the Witchwood, we took care of the Exiled and Heck, we wiped out the force that was sieging Ice Rock Gorge. We've moved over to Lauron Forest to start our next ritual. So it should be interesting to see how this goes. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,